guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a little story time video. Now, this happened, I think it was last year. And as the title does say, yes, I got lost mountain hiking. So, I love hiking, I love being active, I love being fit, and I've done plenty of hikes before. So one day, a good friend of mine, Elise, and I decided that we would try a different hike. We went to the Sunshine Coast. Now, normally, we live in Brisbane, so normally we'll go to the Gold Coast because that's a little bit closer to where we are than the Sunshine Coast, and there's so many beautiful hiking tracks and trails um, in the national parks down there. But we thought we'd do something a little bit different, so we went to the Sunshine Coast and found, we'd Googled a trail already to do, so we knew where we were going. Found a great trail, it was going to take about an hour to do, which was fine. We left here, like our house, at about, I think it was just after 11 o'clock in the morning. And driving up the coast, it should only take us about an hour to drive up there. But, there was an accident on the motorway. So the traffic was backed up like you wouldn't believe. We were literally going so slow. It ended up taking us, I think it was just over two hours to get there. Um, so we didn't get there until about just after 1, I think it was, 1, 1 30 by the time we actually got there parked. Um, and which was fine. We were like, sweet, plenty of daylight still. Let's go hiking. So we started the hike. And the first uh, little bit was, went through a little like little track and then it came to um, some steps. And so we started going down the steps and it was quite steep, quite steep. Halfway down there was a, uh, I guess you could say like a, a fork in the steps. So one side went down further, one side went off into a track. Now the track had all this um, warning signs and tape over it because apparently there had been rocks falling onto the track so they had closed it off so you couldn't go there. Kept going down these steps, got to the bottom of the steps, and there was a beautiful waterfall. It was amazing. It was, it was huge. It had a huge uh, like swimming area at the bottom of it, and there's lots of people around swimming, eating their lunch. Um, there probably would have been like 20 people down there, I reckon. There was a fair few people, and it was gorgeous. And the, the view was absolutely stunning as well. There's a lookout, and you could see everything. Um, so it probably took us about 20 minutes, maybe not even that, to get to the bottom of this waterfall. So we set up our little like picnic area down there and we're eating our lunch, um, just relaxing for a while. Um, so it got to about 2.30 I think, about 2.30 and we thought alright, we've seen enough, let's go back. So instead of going back up the way that we'd come down, we had noticed that there was a small path at the other side of the waterfall. Um, it was a little bit overgrown, it wasn't really noticeable like it was quite you know fit one person sort of on it and we thought oh that must be the other track because normally when you do a hiking track it does like a loop so we thought oh okay great that's going to loop back up to the top so we started walking along this track and half an hour goes by and we probably passed two three people maybe and we didn't really think much of it we thought okay cool it's supposed to take an hour anyway so this is pretty normal Walking and walking and it gets about 45 minutes and we're kind of thinking, alright, we must be nearly getting there. Like, it's, it's been 45 minutes, this wasn't supposed to be a long track. An hour goes by. By now we're sort of thinking, maybe this track is the one that leads to the part that was closed off. In which case, it had already been an hour and we didn't really want to turn around and walk an hour back. So we thought, well, we may as well just keep walking. If it loops around, we'll just have to climb over the rocks. Um, to get to the other side of the track that the bit that was closed off. By now, we probably hadn't passed anyone in about half an hour. So we started thinking, this is getting a bit weird, but all right, like we'll just keep going because it's it's one of those awkward things where you don't know if you should turn back or keep going. And we figured, well, it's already been over an hour now. We may as well keep going. So we kept going. Um, our phones had no reception as well, so we had no way of contacting anyone. And <laughs> Half an hour and a half goes by, and but we're starting to freak out now. <laughs> um, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, and it had started to get a little bit dim. The sun was just starting to set, so we definitely couldn't turn back, and we just had to keep going. So we're freaking out a little bit, and the track was quite overgrown at this point. It wasn't a very clear track. Um, the further we walked, the more the track just became very overgrown. 
there were some parts, I think about the two hour mark that we hit, was a part where you couldn't even tell what was track and what wasn't. It just, everything looked the same. We're walking through, no idea where we're going, praying that we are going the right way. Every now and then you pass one of those little wooden stands that have like the walking man with like the stick. So we're like, sweet, we're on the right track at least. We kept walking, two hours goes by, we're freaking out. So it's 4.30 now. We definitely can't turn back because it's been two hours. If we turn back, it's going to be dark before we get back. We had no choice but to go forward because if it got dark, we wouldn't have to see where we're going and we would have actually gotten a lot more lost. So we're walking, walking and walking and freaking out. I had no water as well left. We drank all that. Our phones had no reception. This track was literally going up a steep hill and then it would like you'd get to quite near the top and it would just go back down. It was quite deceiving. So we had no idea how high up or how high down we were at the mountain. We were just praying that we were going to come back to this car park soon. So it gets to just about almost three hours into this hike. So it's about 5.30 now and it's getting quite dark. There's only a little bit of light left and ahead we see um, like some wooden, wooden planks from like a walking bridge. So we run up to them and there's a sign saying, you know, exit you know, this many um, metres away, and we were like, yes, we have made it, we were always at the exit, so we, we were running along, we are like running and running and running along, and we can, up ahead you see like a clearing, and we can see, all we can see is like a road, um, and we're obviously by the trees, and, and we were just running like, yes, yes, we've done it, we are almost there, and we bust through the little opening into the car park, and look around and we've gone what the f where's our car we're in the wrong car park <laughs> so now that we're actually on some kind of civilized road um we had our phone reception but i only had i think five percent of battery left and i think elise had about eight percent battery so we our phones are literally dying it was pretty dark at this point i could see a little bit there's no street lights because it's in the middle of a mountain there's no one around as well by the way so we haven't seen any, anyone in hours there was a couple of cars around but there was no sign of people anywhere i opened my maps up on my phone because previously i'd checked my iphone for how to get to um where we needed to go and i've opened my phone up to maps and I had the track still saved and I looked at where we were and I looked at where our car was and we were at the other side of the national park we literally walked in like pretty much a straight line but more like this kind of line <laughs> and we were like oh my god like what are we gonna do you can't call a taxi in the middle of a mountain we can't go back on the track because that's going to take us three hours to get back and by then it'll be nearly nine o'clock at night and there's no doubt we're going to get lost and we can't just stay here in the middle of nowhere either so i looked at my map again and because it's a mountain there's not a lot of roads and it was about three turns i think it was like left right and right we'd have to take if we walked along the road we decided to walk along the road it was going to take us about an hour's walk but we had no other choice we start walking along this road. We're tired. We've been walking for three hours already. We're hungry. It's six o'clock at night. And so up ahead, we see a cafe and we think, oh my God, maybe they'll have a phone because by now our phones have also died. So we run to this cafe. It's closed. There's no one around. So we keep walking, walking and decide we're going to have to hitchhike. So we start trying to hitchhike, two cars go by, they don't even stop to see if we're okay, ask to help, anything. Like, we're waving, like, please stop for us. Nothing. Like, I'm sorry, but that is so rude. Like, if you see two young girls, well, like, scary men, um, in the middle of nowhere at night, waving, like, you should probably stop and see if they're okay. Third car goes by, and we're like, please help us, like, think it out, please. Anyway, they pull over, and then the nicest couple, and we actually saw them earlier on in the day, and they asked us where we were going, and we explained the situation, and they just laughed at us and said, yep, yeah, we know which track you're talking about. We normally do half-half, and then go back to the car. And they were so kind, and they dropped us at our car. I've never been so thankful in my life. It was about 6.30 by the time we got to the car. It's pitch black, but we survived. 
So guys, lesson is, if you ever go hiking, make sure you bring a map with you. Um, and yeah, don't uh, try new tracks if you've never been without packing supplies. <laughs> Anyway, do you guys have any crazy like hiking or adventure stories? If you do, leave me a comment below because I would love to hear about them. Maybe we're just really retarded. I don't know. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I upload videos every Sunday and every Thursday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!